Bonjour et bienvenue, c'est la Madelise et je suis contente that you are back here in my channel. For today's tutorial, we are going to learn how to create the Nyokito at the front from the book Pattern Magic No. 2 by Tomoko Nakamichi. Pattern Magic is widely recognized as a lifesaver for pattern makers like us. These four books contain numerous pattern making techniques and drafted on paper, some of which are challenging while others are straightforward to follow. One of the simplest lessons in the book is called Nyokito at the front, and I believe Nyokito translates to mountain valley or sprouting in English. Since the book doesn't provide extensive sewing instructions, in this tutorial, you will learn how to cut and sew the pattern on your chosen fabric. So let's get this tutorial started. To begin, I am going to use a basic torso block, but only until the waist. I've also pivoted the shoulder bust start to the armhole. If you guys are new to my channel, I have a separate tutorial for basic torso foundation for metric and imperial systems. Please do check it out. Next, trace the block to your paper. From the side seam at waistline, mark in 1 cm to cinch the waist. And from this mark, draw a slant line towards the armhole at underarm. Next, redraw the second dart, pointing or touching the armhole bust dart. and redraw the first dart until the bust point. From waistline at center front, mark up 12 centimeters. Next, at shoulder tip from shoulder slope, mark down 8 cm. Next, draw a curve line, connecting both marks, passing through, and hitting the bus point. This line is going to be the slash line or nyokito line. Next, close all of the darts and open the slash line until bus point. And cut off the pattern from the paper. Next, continue on cutting through the slash line but do not cut beyond. Next, get another piece of paper for spreading technique. And tape the lower half pattern on your paper. And from the slash line at center front, 
mark out 16 centimeters. And tape the upper half of the pattern right exactly at the 16 centimeter mark. Next, draw a line connecting both upper and lower patterns as shown. Next, get the halfway of this line and mark. And draw the curved fold line. By the way, this is optional. For this tutorial, I am only going to put sewing allowance at the center front. And by the way, mark the important notches at the center front. And draw the green line indication at the upper half of the pattern at center front. For the mock-up, I am going to use this wool fabric and place my pattern right exactly at the green line. And cut my pattern on my fabric. Next, using a tailor's chalk, mark in the notches at the center front. And face each piece right side to right side matching the notches at center front. And sew the center front with the nyokito according to your sewing allowance. Using a point clapper, I will press the seams open while pointing and maintaining the triangular shape or nyokito at center front. And press the right side seams as well. To fold the nyokito, first I will pin my garment on my dress form. And as you can see, there's like a mountain shaped right exactly at the center front of my garment and this is the nyokito. Next, just simply fold the nyokito inside as shown. And there you go! Now you have a Nyokito at the front. Et voila! So this is my mock-up. This is the front. And this is how it looks like on different sides. And this is how the fold looks like on a closer look. Anyway guys, I hope this tutorial gave you enough tips on how to draft and how to sew the Nyokito from the book Pattern Magic by Tomoko Nagamichi. And if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to comment down below and I will reply as soon as possible. And if you like this video, please give it a huge thumbs up. And if you super like this video, give me a super thanks. And if you're not subscribed yet to my channel La Modelist, make it sure to hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys again on the next tutorial. A bientôt!